hello everyone this is jofia diy i welcome you all back to my channel in this video i'll be sharing with you how i made transparent bath soap using improvised method improvised method in the sense that if you don't have a modernized bath soap making equipment you can use whatever you have at home in this video i used my stove the old pot old stainless pot i no longer use and my spatula sit back and watch if you find this interesting please do subscribe and hit the notification bell beside it so that you get notified each time i upload a video and please give a thumbs up now let's get started i have already pre-measured all my chemicals i'm using 69 grams of water and 20 grams of caustic soda i dissolve the caustic soda into the water and allow it to i stir it to dissolve and keep it aside for it to clear up a bit as that is clearing up i um light up my source of heat which is stove you can use gas but make sure that this this the heat is very very low i placed my pots my stainless pots on the stove and i added my coconut oil i used 121 grams of coconut oil make sure that the heat is very low and you're using a stainless pot I'm adding in my 121 grams of coconut oil into the pot. Then I added my stearic acid. Stearic acid, 40 grams of stearic acid. I added 40 grams of stearic acid into the oil. And I stir it. Allow it to melt or to dissolve also. It's completely dissolved. I'm stirring it for it to dissolve very well. It's going to take a bit of time because the heat is very low. So as that has cleared up, I'm going to add in my caustic soda which has completely cleared up. I'll add the caustic soda into the oil and I'll stir it. It's beginning to thicken up. I'll stir it very well. I'll keep stirring as it's thickening up. I'll keep stirring, keep stirring. And I will also maintain the, the, the low temperature because a high temperature uh, tends to burn the mixture. And when the mixture is, is burnt, the outcome will be will not be transparent to be a brownish transparent. Yes, it will not be white as expected. So I allow it to thicken up, to heat up some more. As it's eating up, I'm measuring my glycerin. Yes, I added my glycerin. I'm using... Yeah, I added my, my glycerin. I'm using 100 ml of glycerin for this. 100 ml of glycerin. Yeah. Which is um 90 gram. Yeah, 90 grams of glycerin. And I'll stir it to dissolve to dissolve the mixture if you're using a crock pot you can cover this and allow it to dissolve but due to i'm using a direct heat i'm going to keep stirring it for it to dissolve and for it not to get burnt okay, as i'm waiting for it to dissolve i'll measure my my alcohol i'm supposed to use ipa for this but i don't have ipa which is isopropyl alcohol i don't have it what i have at the moment is ethanol and i'm using it for to prove to you that it works i've added my ethanol i used 78 grams of ethanol and i set it for everything to completely dissolve yes i have lowered my heat my heat is on low as it's clearing up I'm going to, I've already dissolved my sugar into my water. I used 5 grams of sugar, sorry, 15 grams of sugar into 30 grams of water. So I'm going to stir it a bit for everything to completely dissolve. As you can see, there are still some lumps. Yes, so I have, I dissolved that off camera. 
okay now i have turned off the heat and i spray in my alcohol i supposed to use ipa on it but i don't have so i'm using ethanol to spray on it in order for the bubbles to clear up yes so it has cleared up can you see that can you see that's cleared up so i'll go ahead and add in my sugar syrup i use 15 grams of sugar in 30 grams of water i dissolved it before i started this production so i've added the sugar syrup and you see that's cleared up and i have turned off the heat completely at this moment i spray some alcohol once again for the bubbles to clear up see the bubble is clearing up yeah you see so i have carried the pot down i have removed my source of heat now this is the soup this is the final um, mixture you still have some bubbles but don't worry it's going to clear up you can see i'll spray some ipa on it but since it's all uh, demonstration purpose you know there's no point so i'm pouring it into my mold yes i pour it into, into my mold i'm going to add color to the one in the pot i add a little of orange color oil soluble color i set it and i also pour it into the mold and you can see how transparent it is how clear it is yes you can do this you can do it if you don't have cloak pot if you don't have uh, term, uh, yeah, thermometer if you don't have all the modern equipment for this production don't worry use whatever you have that is why i am jufia diy i encourage you to do everything yourself improvise yes improvise if you don't have it improvise just like mode if you don't have a mode improvise i started my one day i'm going to share my soap making journey now i started my soap making production that is giving me yes real cool cash now how i started it from nothing from nowhere so this is it i left the soap for 24 hours yeah, this is after 24 hours i molded it can you see how clear it is yes you can try this at home for those that are into skincare no need of uh, going to buy glycerin soap base good mix soap base you can make yours yourself yes you can you can make yours see how it is yes yes you see and it's remeltable yes see how it is it's remeltable this is the level of the transparency and this is my baby <laughs> my baby um drugs carton you see the level of transparency thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell beside it to get notified each time i upload a video yes thank you so much see you in my next video bye